the intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we want to take a look at morale officers because one, we haven't discussed morale as much as we have. I mean, we talk about hull breach and burning all the time. And we talk about like the background effects of hull breach and getting that bonus to your critical damage multiplier and all these different things. But what does morale do? And this video also, I'm just gonna be honest, is built around as the time this video is coming out, we just had the new strike team crews come out for battleships and intercept but the explorer ones have not come out yet however for those paying attention you will have noted that you have burning and hull breach in the strike team crews go take a look at gold to cop for example the prefect of bajor went on an interceptor fighting a player at the beginning of combat 20 percent chance of applying hull breach for the duration of the match why is this important what does this even do well as i said hull breach gives you a bonus multiplier to your critical damage so it's great for critical builds, but that's hall breach. This video is about morale. So we're going to cover the basics of how morale works. And if you are curious, or you, if you already know, I'm real curious, comment now, timestamp. This is like a minute and a half in timestamp at 90 seconds. If you actually know what hall breach does in the background. So first off, what we'll do is go over some basic officers that actually cover through hall breach. There's really only two I'm sorry, cover morale. There's only really two that we really use to proc morale currently in the game. And that's Kirk and TOS Kirk. Now there are technically others that can do it. For example, Arcadi, which is just uh, this game's version of Chekhov from the Kelvin series, technically has the ability of inspiring morale, but requires the shields to be completely depleted. So a little bit of a negative there. We never recommend using him, but he technically works. Kirk being the main one. This is the go-to for any Enterprise captain out there because it keeps these enterprise shields up with leader as long as you have best morale bonus to the officer stats but inspirational like that it's an officer ability beginning of each round Kirk has a 75 percent chance at you know the tier that i have him at of keeping it going so basically morale same as everything else officers can use it background bonus. one real quick want to show a couple of others that can use it marcus can activate all of Marcus Charbonnet King, all the Trinity officers can activate him. Theirs is a captain's ability, and this one actually requires the whole health, the starting whole health at the beginning of the round or the beginning of the fight, get below 80%, and then he can start morale, not as effective as Kirk. And then you do have TOS Kirk that came out a couple years ago, which he can also get morale going and start of each round of the ship's health is above 30%. Got a chance to start morale. Now remember, once your whole health starts going down, he no longer gives you morale, so not as effective as the original Kirk, but can be more effective than an anti-critical build with TOS or her. But that's a discussion for another day. Those are the primary officers that launch morale, those four. But what do you actually do with them? And that leads us into, you know, what will new potential officers do with morale? Well, the background ability is something we're going to focus on because we always talk about the advantages you can find in the game. Now, I'll go ahead and say openly that I believe of the three, burning, hull breach, and morale, this one's background ability is probably the weakest. And that, not that it's bad, it just has the lowest amount of effect, even though by design it's not terrible. And you can even argue that it gets better as you level up because you can actually get more bonuses and more stats. The simple answer of how it works, and I want to give a shout out to uh, Order to Chaos. If, Y'all know, I've mentioned a lot of people who help us with math, and I want to give them some credit uh, real quick. So, for example, here are some logs where we're going over showing the mitigation calculator and how this changes. I want to give some credit to guys like uh, Hugo, Gregor, Order to Chaos, um, Pseudo. I mean, there, there's just so many people who work on the math of this game, uh, including the people who made the mitigation calculator, that y'all don't see as content who, you know, Content creators, we're, we're all there. We're out in the face. Y'all see us. But I want to give a lot of credit to them because it was actually, you know, pseudo in order to chaos that I went to before this video to make sure like, hey, are you sure this is, how does this work exactly again? Just to make sure we got our notes right because I was talking to DJ and neither of us could remember exactly how this went down. So I just want to give credit to players like order to chaos doing in and putting in that work, which is greatly appreciated for not only me as a content creator, but as a player to understand. So the short answer is, and we'll go into more depth on a you know, Twitch stream, is you're going to take your primary stat. So for example, the Enterprise here, primary stat for piercing is 
accuracy. And what you're going to get here is morale gives you a background bonus of 10% through after calculation. So if you remember Hull Breach, Hull Breach works like this. Damage created and then critical damage. Well, if you hit a critical, your critical multiplies. So like if this was one and your critical was, for example, right on the back, you see 260. So you'd be one multiplied by 2.6. Well, that's 2.6. And then hull breach is a 1.5 multiplier after that. So it comes after you've done all your math. This works the exact same way with morale. Morale does the same thing with a 10% bonus to your piercing stat, primary to you, your ship. So if you're in an interceptor, that is gonna be your primary piercing is going to be your armor piercing. If you're on a battleship shield piercing. And if you're on an explorer, then accuracy. Now it should be noted that that doesn't work on like a North Star because it's not part of the triangle. It doesn't have a primary stat. And if you remember the mitigation calculator, it's even weighted differently than a regular warship when it comes to the battle triangle and how PVP fights go. But specifically morale is gonna boost you 10% after all your research and everything. So the reason that's important is sometimes we'll talk about like the base getting improved and things like that. Well, this is doing a multiplication, same way you would do hull bridge. You're gonna have your accuracy here and then all your bonuses, and then after you calculate all that, then it gives you another multiplier based on top of that, which means a technically bigger number. But because it is still a piercing value and it's only the primary piercing value, it's very niche when that can actually help you out. The only reason I bring that up is if we're going with the theme that the strike team is something that you could see this happen again. We assume the explorers will have a strike team variant. Well, that means that you'll be fighting with a triangle probably, or at least fighting in a way where the triangle will matter. So if I'm on an enterprise with a new strike team crew and I'm going against that interceptor strike team, well, I'm going to want maybe that morale piercing bonus to be there to make sure that I'm overcoming what that interceptor is doing. We'll have to wait and see if that's actually how the game rolls things out. You know, I mean, it would be hilarious, but very unlikely that they release a whole breach set and a burning set and then forget to do morale. So if we assume that then we need to understand the work is morale and that's where the background bonus comes into play here i do want to point out just kind of comparing to some of the abilities that you have from the strike team crews let's take a look at like strike team lawn targeting optimization on battleship at the start of each round increase the number of shots the officer ability giving the burning right here one thing that i've noticed a lot of is you're getting a lot of these abilities that activate but also are predicated upon either damage creation or nullifying the damage another opponent does so I'm very curious if with morale, they actually go a different direction and they go with a mitigation style based on that's what morale does in the background. Remember, hull breach in the background, critical bonus, and burning in the background burns the hull hell. So it's technically a hull reduction ability of your enemy ship, but it's just such a small amount that, you know, maybe that doesn't really help that much. Or maybe they continue the theme where you've got, for example, Strike Team Lawn, and we simply use morale to then boost the damage of our ship by a set number of rounds or you know by you know a particular weapon slot or something like that either way i'd be very surprised if that doesn't happen and the reason that matters is because if you got a piercing bonus with a damage bonus in theory you do more damage because piercing numbers for those who haven't you know studied the ship higher piercing typically will relate to lower mitigation for your opponent so if we're for example doing this where iss jelly is taking on you know, piercing values is my jelly targeting that Jemadar fighter and my piercing values being better than their defensive values, creating lower mitigation. Remember the lowest mitigation you can get in this game, technically you can break that with a couple of officers, but you'll get your mitigation down to 15, 60% of the enemy. And the highest your mitigation go can is 71.2, 71.19. So if you can get an enemy's mitigation lower, that means the damage you're getting as a bonus is more you're actually doing more hull damage. Remember, there's three phases. Primary damage, damage to the shields, because shields stop 80% of any damage that's not mitigated. And then finally, hull damage, the most important one, that one that'll actually blow your ship up. So right here, you see in a log. If we can increase our piercing value with the background of morale, and also get a bonus to our overall damage through maybe a morale ability, or maybe they do a different style, hey, potential for that explorer crew to secretly be pretty good and finally take advantage of what morale does in the background. Hopefully this video helped explain to you what it does because maybe you didn't know before and hopefully you enjoyed the math. Live long and prosper.
Stay safe for the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next one. I guess we didn't go over math. This is more of a basic one. But hey, when that new Stry Team crew comes out, maybe we'll go over math there. Sounds great. Yay. An even better outro than the intro. For the Empire and glory to your house.